Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. This is a short video, but one of my more important ones. For the past 15 years, I've been very focused on data tampering of the United States temperature record, which turned a cooling trend into a warming trend. But I've been working very hard over the last few months to develop software which allows me to analyze the global temperature record. I now have the ability to quickly analyze both the unadjusted and adjusted data used for generating these graphs. There's tens of thousands of records in their database, but for this video I'm just going to look at one station in Costa Rica. This is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's unadjusted data for Liberia, Costa Rica. Their data shows that temperatures were very warm there during March 1998, during one of the largest El Ninos on record, so these high temperatures are not surprising. Now I'm going to show you the adjusted data for that same station. NOAA has massively cooled the past in the adjusted data, and they've completely erased 1998. This would imply that they have some specific information that these thermometer readings from 1998 were wrong. I would like Noah to tell me what the name of the person was who took these readings in 1998 and what exactly he or she did wrong. Unless they have those sort of details available at the tens of thousands of stations they're tampering with, these sort of adjustments are fraud. They're not science. It is very unlikely that Noah has specific information justifying this sort of abuse of data. And there's an even more serious problem. If the thermometer data shows a cooling trend, and they alter that and turn it into a warming trend, that implies that the signal-to-noise ratio in the data is close to zero and is therefore unusable. So why is it in their database? These sort of temperature graphs from government agencies are based on this sort of fraud at thousands and thousands of stations, and I'm going to be exposing that over the next year or two. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on junk science for almost 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.